Barakata Yahu, Barakata Yahushai, Bashim, Rika Hakwadash, Barakata. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim ba Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, and peace and salutations to Yakim out there pushing this word in truth. This is the brother Rai with another video. I got a, a killer article here on uh, Axios, AXIOS.com. The title reads Scoop. Merkel warned Netanyahu collapse of Iran deal could lead to war, which I'm going to open it with Jeremiah 49 and 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of Yahweh that he hath taken against Edom, Edomites, so-called white race, and his purpose, purposes that he hath proposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock, those Amalekites in Israel, shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. collapse of Iran deal could lead to war which uh, Israel wants because they don't want Iran to get those nukes and pose a threat to them in the region so they're pushing for the US to get out of that deal as it said the least of the flock shall draw them out this is beautiful beautiful Achium German Chancellor Angela Merkel warned Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that a decision by President Trump to withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal might lead to the collapse of the agreement and as a result could lead to a regional war. German officials told me uh, Merkel made this position clear when she met Netanyahu at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland in January 24th. Why it matters. The meeting between Merkel and Netanyahu took place two weeks after Trump announced he'd withdraw from the nuclear deal if Germany, France, and the UK couldn't agree on significant changes to the deal by May 12th. Since then, senior diplomats have been engaged in intense negotiations to save the deal. The Europeans now believe the chances of finding a formula which will satisfy Trump are very slim. German, uh, a German official said Netanyahu present, presented all his arguments against the Iran deal to Merkel during the meeting. Merkel listened and then told Netanyahu... What is your alternative? According to the official, she told Netanyahu that without the diplomatic solution, the military option would be back on the table. Merkel stressed that a U.S. withdrawal would divide the West. According to the German official, Merkel said to Netanyahu, it will put us, the Brits, and the French, all strong allies of American Mystery Babylon, on the side with Russia, Gog, China, and Iran when the U.S. and Israel will be on the other side. Uh, when the U.S. and Israel will be on the other side. Is this what you want? Beautiful. Which brings me to Revelations chapter 17, verse 16. And the ten horns, which are those uh, nations of the EU, the European Union, which thou sawest upon the beast, American Mystery Babylon, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So as we just read. It will put us, the Brits and the French, on the same side with Russia and China. They shall hate the whore and uh, shall burn her burn her flesh, Slakia, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire, those nukes. So you can see these prophecies with each passing today get closer and closer to their fulfillment, brothers. This is truly a beautiful time. The German Chancellor also told Netanyahu that the European powers do not want to violate their international commitment and that U.S. withdrawal would harm the credibility of the West. That would make it harder to reach diplomatic solutions with problematic countries in the future because no one would take our word anymore, she added. Netanyahu and Merkel spoke tonight on the phone. The purpose of the call was for Netanyahu to congratulate Merkel on forming a new government, but the two also discussed the Iran deal. Netanyahu's office did not dispute the account of the meeting with Merkel in Davos and said in a statement, Prime Minister Netanyahu emphasizes Israel's vital security interests at every meeting and he will continue to do so. The Prime Minister is convinced that the Iran deal should be fundamentally fixed or fundamentally nixed, which is what they want, because this deal would lead for sure uh, to Iran having an arsenal of nuclear bombs. So as you can see, brothers, we're getting closer and closer you got to be in the spirit to where you can just taste it. It could happen at any moment. And uh, I'll close it off on Joel chapter 3, verse 2. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley Jehoshaphat, the Middle East. 
right where Iran is, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. This is all the judgment for these nations for what they did to us in the past. As it says, they have scattered us among the nations and uh, parted our lands, which those Amalekites are in there right now. Those uh, filthy gutter rat Edomites that are saying they are Jews when they're not. So brothers, just keep strong and push on. Uh, a Baba ball, Shalom. I hope this video was edifying.